This might be one of the most controversial videos we ever make. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the gas and gas. We're glad you're there, Sai. You get the right time. We got an all time line. Bubbles, hot toys, and chomp. Don't mind. Stick around. Like, comment, and be sure to subscribe because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel walls, we are together. Yes. We've trashed Carnage. We've trashed Machine Gun Kelly. We've also majorly, majorly thrown some shade at whatnot. We also talked about Tommy Lee's wiener. Okay, but that's good. <laughs> okay. Well, what are we talking about today? Well, today we're talking about something really big. Don't you dare. Something that's so big and thick. Tommy Lee's wiener. And girthy! Tommy Lee's wiener. No, what we're talking about are NFT Funko Pops. And I know you're watching the video and you're saying to yourself, why am I watching yet another Gasocast video about NFTs? Well, that's because Drop and Funko keep f***ing up. So that is 100% true. And this go around, there's a lot of controversy about somebody getting some Transformer NFT Funko Pops before anybody else. But before we jump into that, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, that way you'll know anytime we go live or post new content. We post new content every single day and we go live every Sunday around 8 or 9 p.m. It's random. Also hit the like button because that helps the reach of this video. So if you love us, hit that button because it helps us. Oh, and also, if you want to like help us a lot more, head over to patreon.com slash castlecast and look at all the ways that you can support the channel. So before we get ahead of ourselves, if you don't know about Funko NFTs and you're basically brand new to all of this, when you get a redeemable NFT card that gets you a physical Funko Pop, you have to turn that card in within a certain time frame and then you get a physical Funko Pop sent to your home. It's really hard to wrap your head around this whole NFT thing, but we try to make it simple with all of our NFT videos. If you need a little bit of help in that area, go watch our how-to video of Funko NFTs. I just want to preface this and say we're probably not going to go the way you expect us to go. We do not care if Funko and or Drop gives Funko Pops to anybody else before anybody else. Now, we're not sure exactly how many of these NFT Pops that Funko actually makes because it's so weird because not all of them are actually redeemed. So are they making the correct amount on the sticker or are they taking the normal toy company route and over ordering what's on the sticker in cases of damage, artist proofs or samples just to hand out? So far, we've been very cryptic about the topic that we're discussing. And the topic that we're discussing is a picture that floated all over social media yesterday that was taken Fluffy, the comedian's Instagram. In the background of the photo that's been shared everywhere are trans Transformer NFT Funko Pops. And what is the problem with that? Well, they're not supposed to show up at anybody's home until around October or November. That's not the only problem. Somebody else pointed out that these Funko Pops have no stickers. That's a whole other issue. I don't even want to get into that. Okay, but we have to because that's the whole point of this video. God. Okay, so these Funko Pops actually come with stickers. As an example, you can see that this Bebop has a 1467 piece sticker. That sticker matters because it tells you the full amount of this Funko Pop that should have been redeemed, but not all of these Funko Pops are redeemed by the people who get them. This number is actually incorrect. But in this particular conversation, that's neither here nor there. Let's not even talk about that. But the issue is these Funko Pops are supposed to come with stickers and seeing that these Funko Pops are in the background of Fluffy's photo, that's really concerning because there's been a lot of ups going on over at Drop. People are getting the wrong items or items are coming in damaged. And on top of that, Drop is really doing nothing about it. However, the other day I noticed that somebody had posted that their box was lost in the mail with all of their NFT Fungo Pops. Drop was actually going to replace all of their Fungo Pops. That's the first time I've ever seen anything like that happen. The Halloween Freddy Fungo Pops were a big issue. Some came damaged and some people received their orders completely wrong. And the ones that came damaged, Funko basically wouldn't replace any of them. 
well, Funko or Drop, I don't know who we're talking about here because a lot of finger pointing has been happening lately. And in fact, in this story, there was some finger pointing and we're gonna get to that. We started this video by saying that we wouldn't mind if somebody like Fluffy got his Transformer NFT Funko Pops before us. And that's 100% truthful. It doesn't matter to me. However, I wanna know where these Funko Pops came from. And the reason why we don't know where these Funko Pops came from, because there was a message on Drop Discord that has me very concerned. One very important thing that we do need to talk about before we get to those messages is that these Fungo Pops are numbered and people spend a lot of money on the secondary market to buy them. And we're buying them because they are limited. The limited factor is very important in this because there's a lot of value included. When you go on the secondary market, you may pay a couple hundred dollars to get a Funko Pop that's being shipped directly from the manufacturer being Funko and Drop. So if there are extra figures out there being made and just handed off willy-nilly, that money that you're spending isn't going to a Funko Pop as limited as you thought. Before you get too deep into that, I want to talk about how it's standard practice for companies to over-order. Even if there is a limited piece involved, typically companies will over-order, especially if a license is involved because they need to send samples to the licensor as well as they have what's called artist proofs. So basically these can be distributed to the higher ups at Funko or maybe some of their marketing team or Fluffy for example. I feel like things like that should be marked appropriately. Yeah, it should have a sticker on it telling exactly what it is. Maybe there was something on these Funko Pops sitting behind Fluffy that we just could not see in that photo. So as Funko and Drop makes all of these different NFT Funko Pops they might make extra just like the ones we see in the photo from Fluffy. But with these Funko Pops, as I mentioned before, there's a very important value factor. And the fact that Funko and Drop is not sharing with us how they handle this is a really big issue and we are losing confidence by the day when it comes to Funko NFT Funko Pops. If we knew that the extras were destroyed, if we knew that people like Fluffy are getting APs or some sort of sample, that'd be good to know. Or if we knew that Fluffy actually got these Funko Pops legitimately like everybody else, but just happened to get them early because he's Fluffy. But at this point, that's all unknown. And the biggest key factor and the biggest key problem in all of this was said by Patrick from Drop. And this happened in the Drop Discord, basically in front of everybody publicly. Well, everybody who can use Discord and... We're not those people. No, I'm horrible with Discord. I think I'm too old. So in a chat discussion about this particular photo, somebody asked Patrick, wondering about this, I thought no gifting was a policy. And Patrick responded, this is our policy. Interesting. So if that's the case, either they broke the policy, Funko broke the policy, maybe it's Drop's policy not to gift, but Funko can do what they want with their pops, or Fluffy actually redeemed these things, which would be shocking to me, and received them before everybody else. It's not good looks. No. Across the board, not good looks. Mm -mm. Patrick also mentioned in this conversation, I'm not able to comment further at this time. And and that's a really huge issue. And now we're gonna get on the topic of Patrick. So for those who do not know, we actually interviewed Patrick months ago. And during that interview, you could tell that Patrick was very enthusiastic about Drop, about the Funko partnership. He seemed really happy and he seemed real excited about what the future held. I was really excited for Patrick. Heather was very excited for Patrick. We had a lovely conversation with him and I personally think he's a great guy. Unfortunately, Patrick is getting what I like to refer to as the end of the stick. What I think the problem is, is that Funko is not communicating what should be communicated to us, the public. And not only that, Patrick is like their barrier. Funko isn't talking about this. They're forwarding everything to Drop. Drop is Patrick, basically. Yeah. I mean, they have a team behind them, but Patrick is the guy, especially in their Discord. Now, you could go and say, well, Patrick got himself involved in this with his company Drop, and now he's deep in the as they say, and that is 100% true, Patrick got involved in this partnership on his own accord. He wasn't dragged into this, but Funko should be standing up and doing something about this. They should be explaining why packages are arriving damaged and not being replaced, or why we are getting the wrong items. There are people out there who were getting Grail NFT Funko Pops that were supposed to get a Legendary. Grail is up here and Legendary falls down here. So somebody receiving the wrong item like that is a huge issue considering that they're all numbered. 
And also considering the fact that people spend a ton of money on the secondary market to receive these Grail Pops. The real bad news about all this is that a lot of people who did not receive their Grail Funko Pop, did not receive the items they were supposed to when it came to the Freddy Funko Drop, are still holding a bag. A bag of there's literally no answers for them right now. They're sitting around and waiting and nothing is happening and no one is communicating anything. And I'm pretty sure that's because Funko is telling Drop this is what's going on, but ain't you can say about it. And that is where the problem lies. Funko is basically telling them to keep their lips sealed and then Funko is also keeping their lips sealed as well. So now you have an angry mob on a Discord server and all over social media screaming and hollering about this. And might I add that on eBay, a bunch of Scooby-Doo Funko Pops showed up from that NFT drop and those aren't supposed to be out until this fall as well. We covered this in a video so if you wanted to search Gasselcast Scooby-Doo NFT, but the short of it is is it was literally a numbered stickered Funko Pop. It did not say sample. It did not say AP or artist proof. It's not due to be in our hands for a very long time. And as we mentioned in that video, Funko and Drop need to work together to keep a hold on this whole limited Funko Pop thing. Because if more people get turned off by this, because there are already a lot of people that are turned off about Funko NFTs just because they don't like Funko NFTs. Now you're gonna turn off the populace, the people who are actually involved. If you do that, then what are you gonna do? What's gonna happen then? It's a disaster. The biggest issue that I have with this whole thing is that if Funko is making more than what is on the stickers, for example, what we saw in Fluffy's photo, why are they unable to replace damage boxes? That's a whole other issue. Absolutely. The fact that people are getting these Funko Pops early completely at random without any explanation at all is a whole other problem. Now, I understand that Fluffy is high on the Funko Pop totem pole. He's a huge star and he's a big friend to Funko. But I see it as a problem that he is getting these Funko Pops early while other people sitting at home that are lower on the totem pole are left holding that bag of without their Freddy NFT Funko Pops. That's a problem, Funko. You know it is. And by the way, none of this is good looks. Having a photo show up like this from Fluffy with these Funko Pops sitting in the background, not good. Scooby-Doo Funko Pops showing up on eBay, not good. Oh, by the way, no stickers on the Fluffy Funko Pop. That's not good. People are not getting the Funko Pops that they should be getting. Replacement boxes for their Funko Pops, not good. The biggest issue with all of this is that Funko is still doing NFT drops. As a matter of fact, there's one this coming to Day. And what's going to happen if those arrive damaged? I mean, they can't even take care of the people who were supposed to receive their Halloween Freddy Funko Pops. And now they're doing more drops? I mean, shouldn't you take care of the people that are waiting for before you put more stuff out there? Funko and Drop are probably on some sort of cycle, so they have to keep dropping all these things. But right now is the perfect time to push the pause button, fix everything, get everything straightened out, and then move forward. Right now, we're literally asking for more of a disaster. And anything could happen. So this can open up a whole new can of worms. And this fall, when I receive my box of Transformers Funko Pops, and they're all damaged, and they won't replace the boxes, I'm gonna be pissed! Not only do they have to fix the existing issues, but they need to come up with a better game plan because whatever they're doing right now is not working the right way. They need to just figure all of this out. Okay, so the takeaways of this video, things are really messed up when it comes to Funko NFTs. The other thing to take away is that Drop is probably under the gun right now. They're probably having all sorts of issues and I feel like Patrick is being beat to sh so let's give him a little bit of breathing room for a second because I think Patrick has a lot to work on. He really does and he is literally the guy giving you the information that he's allowed to give you. If he doesn't say it, stop prying him, stop being an asshole to him because that's not right and you wouldn't want to be treated that way if you were in his shoes. Take what he has to say but let's hope that Funko and Drop say a bit more on these issues in the future. But for now, be kind to him. If you really want to show your disapproval, my recommendation is to actually email Funko. Let them know that you're not happy with your order, you're not happy with what's going on, and let them know directly. And if we all take this step, we might actually see some sort of change. Instead of mobbing Patrick every 
day. We get that Drop are the people that actually ship the stuff out, and they're sort of the voice of this whole thing, but Funko needs to be aware of their flaws, because they're the ones making the rules, and setting the rules, and telling Drop how to handle these things. And Funko, please come out and explain the limited Funko Pop thing. I want to know if you're creating all those Funko Pops that can be redeemed, and you're destroying the ones that are not redeemed, or if there's Funko Pops that should be destroyed or stored somewhere else, or given away. I want to know all that information. Please put that somewhere. Somewhere on your website, somewhere for a drop or anywhere, it doesn't matter. Please post that because it's very important. Wow! That was a lot. That was a whole lot. <sighs> okay. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you take something away from it. The first thing I want you to take away from it is that we need to do something. We need to take action to make change. Beating up on Patrick does nothing. So go and email support at Funko.com and maybe we can get some change here. And for those who have damaged Funko Pops cannot get replacements, that f sucks and I hope they fix the issue because you don't deserve it. You deserve only the best. Only the best that Drop can give you. Well, Drop ain't giving the best of nothing right oh, now. God, I know. So what do you think about this whole topic? It's a sh show, right? Let us know all of that and more in the comment section down below. Head over to poppinofftoys.com for all of your Funko Pops, Funko Sodas, and Funko Mystery Minis. They've got it all. Poppinofftoys.com. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we'd like to shout out to Derek, Tina Maldonado, Trish and Raj, I'm Funko Jeff, Jeff and Angela Harvey, Joshua G, Michael Petrino, John Bailey, Joseph Mayfield, and Brian. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. All right, it's that time again. Remember, as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.